Right guys, we're in the middle of Bratislava. I've filmed the square before actually in better light. It's uh, just at the end of Dronajska Street which is going down there. Um, but I just noticed this lovely walnut tree. You won't be able to see it very well but the walnut tree with the walnuts just coming up on it. It's going to be an awful lot of walnuts. You can see how many of them there are there. Just starting to mature and get big and fat, although it needs a lot of water for that to happen. Nice huge great big leaves, you know, just to, you know, each one is about as big as a hand. Um, and it's got a lovely shape to it with a lovely big fat, nice big trunk there that you could put a tree house on. But if you're thinking of planting a walnut tree close to the house, well it needs to spread uh, and it will grow with power and not only at the top but also at the bottom. Look at how it's forced up the pavement here with its roots coming through in all directions and it's lifted this pavement here and it's lifted that thing there and people that have planted them next to their houses too close to their houses have discovered that uh, walnuts are quite capable of lifting up one side of their house so before you throw that walnut seed out and start enjoying the little tree growing up um, you might want to think about that they're a lovely tree but um, if you've got a bigger garden a little bit further away from either your house or anybody else's house that might want to sue you for causing your tree to lift the house up out of the ground um, let's look back at it just to give you the general overall shape so that's basically this is Bratislava I think I mentioned that um, but just in case I'll say it again Tatrabanka I've had a nice evening just walking around seeing an old friend as well and walking about a bit and uh, going back to the hotel but I just I didn't feel inclined to film much because I filmed this all before and nothing really grabbed me until I got to the walnut tree where I just I think I've mentioned because I've mentioned all sorts of things in my films about walnuts before and about how you want to watch it. Juglans regia is the scientific name. Um, how you want to watch planting it because it does, you know, the roots can come up and then push things out of the way, push your architecture into all different directions. But there, there was a good example of it happening. Thankfully just not near serious architecture, just pushing up a pavement and the decorations around that have been planted about it, but you could see the idea. And uh, yeah, that's what they're capable of. So there you go, Tommy Cafe with Julius Meinl. Julius Meinl. I came down on Austrian Airlines because I generally come but via Vienna because it's near and a much more um, well, an airport with more different routes and flights to it than the um, one that Bratislava is actually equipped with. Um, Bratislava's proximity to Vienna means that a lot of things simply are automatically done via Vienna and therefore Bratislava doesn't develop its own one, which isn't always necessarily good for Bratislava. Um, anyway, I came over Vienna and of course I came on Austrian Air, Air, one of the Austrian Airlines things, Tyrolean or whatever it might be. I didn't really pay much attention to the exact one it was, Austrian Arrows or something. Um, they had Julius Meinl coffee and it said on it, inspiring and tea I had tea myself um, it said inspiring poet since something like 1843 um, I hope I got the date right which is interesting isn't it that poets would go into a coffee house of Julius Meinl of course Meinl started to do whole supermarkets and everything but their mainstay is the uh, the uh, preparation of coffee and coffee houses There we are. You've seen all this before walking up here, so I won't bother with it uh, necessarily another another time. Further up there, you've seen in the past that that guy clutching clutching his head and pointing up at the ear at the on the side of the building. That's just up there, just to prove those of you that watch a lot that you've actually seen this this street before. I have often walked down this street before. Basically because 
the hotel that I like to go to. Shirts with ties. Right, light's not even very good, so I shall call it a night. Cheers. Well, as I said to you last night, um, we're not far away from this. I mean, the hotel was there, I was walking down there. Um, um, strange how history repeats itself. Um, this is the, the thing I filmed before. Um, the ear and the guy sitting on his motorbike, which isn't really a motorbike, it's on legs, pointing up at his ear um, on the wall. And if that wasn't enough, we've also got a skeleton for sale. I suppose it's not a real human skeleton, just a model, probably made from plastic and stalks and other things and gross carnival masks uh, here um, in this gift shop here. Um, there's a sort of like a bust of, well, apart from that gross sort of vampire-like one, there's this sort of normal woman but she's green. It's unusual. It's not easy being green. Um, and one of Bratislava's trolley buses has just passed us. Cities tend to have either trams or trolley buses. Bratislava's kind of got both, I think. So, uh, got the best of all worlds. There's a nice park there, didn't even know it was there. So, um, Here we have it, this street by the way is called Dunajska, leading to the Dunai, or Danube. The architecture of this building here is such that if I didn't know where I was, obviously I know where I am because I know, you know, what plane I get on and uh, the way the taxi takes me afterwards, but if I, if I just got plunked down here, even didn't even have any language going on, I'd kind of know just from the architecture of this that I was either in the Czech Republic or in Slovakia. That's the sort of thing they like to make. <coughs> <coughs> we can see another example of overhang um, in that building ahead there. Go on. See the, the bit overhanging there. The rest in what looks like quite a precarious way. Precarious is a nice word. If you know precarious in whatever language you study, you've made it. So Lots of interesting things to look at. There's some more of the older style architecture with the blue. They like a lot of blue in Bratislava. There's even a blue church I've showed you before. And as you can see, Dunajska Ulica. Okay, well, have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to buy a, a bar with pumps for pulling beer, this is the place. Um, I've never seen a, sh a shop that specialises in that particular aspect before, but there it is. Hmm. Bit of Chinese there. Um, and there's Interlingua, it's a language club. It's nice, isn't it? Have a language club.